uh, clearly the race is on but you know <clears throat> coming uh, together as two giants in vaccine uh, production it really signals to you that there is a lot of experience coming to the table and ultimately it's not just about discovering a vaccine candidate but it's also to produce it at very very large scale and we are talking hundreds and hundreds of millions of doses here which typically smaller companies don't know how to pull it off. Uh, we have a lot of experience uh, as uh, being two very large uh, producers uh, and we're producing a lot of other vaccines on a very big scale. OK, yeah, because it is very ambitious indeed, uh, having it available by 2021, as you say, in a massive amount globally. You've also promised to keep the prices down. Uh, well, what does that signify when you see, say keeping the prices down? We never commented on keeping the prices down. Actually, we think it is too low, too too early to comment on pricing. You know, we are barely entering uh, into the uh, clinical phase uh, now in autumn, where we're going to test uh, two different vaccines from the Sanofi Pasteur side, and GSK is uh, delivering their adjuvant uh, for one of those. So it's too early to comment on pricing. What we can say, however, is that we have always uh, been responsible in terms of pricing. When you look at past pandemics like H1N1 and the flu, uh, for example, in 2009, or when you look at other diseases like yellow fever or polio, uh, we have always been uh, behaving very responsibly. As you said earlier, this is an unprecedented partnership between two pharmaceutical giants. There's no doubt about that. So how do you decide when it comes to the division, let's say, of the intellectual property rights and possibly the financial dividends that could come out of this? Um, again, I think we're not talking about patents here. We're not talking about the dividends here. What we really want to do is to now discover and test and produce on a very large scale uh, these vaccines that we need so desperately uh, because our hypothesis is there is going to be a second, third wave and there are even some epidemiologists saying that it might become a seasonal uh, disease. So uh, clearly we don't know enough about the disease yet. Uh, we have to really focus on getting the vaccine delivered. That's really our quest here.